What's up, guys? Welcome back to All Gains Mindset. We talk about diet, fitness, dating, health, and mindset. We're going to go over a interesting Instagram post by uh, Lolo Jones. I don't know who this is. Um, she, I know All I know is that she's an athlete. She was in the, in the Olympics at one point. You know, so that's cool. Congratulations. Yeah. You've done something cool. This uh, sort of got our attention because uh, I think it's something to talk about. And uh, we're going to go over the comments as well as, you know, some thoughts about it. So Mike's going to read it off and we'll go. We'll dissect this because I thought it was kind of interesting. And I think a lot of people think about this kind of stuff. So, yeah. So let's see. LOL. Time to r a life rant. I have options, but for the first time, I'm really just bored with dating. I think after so many times of getting my hopes up that I will meet your person, you just get over it. You give up hope. Look, I'm no spring chicken. I'm 38 years old. I'm not at an age where I can pretend like in my 20s, oh, I'm not looking for anything serious. When I was totally wanting to get married at that age. Oh, so we can talk about it. I guess we can talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> so. She's 38 years old. Shit. So, you, you're, uh, you're past your prime, I think, a little bit. So, it's, um, I don't know if she was, like, married or divorced or what happened, but this happens a lot, I think. A lot of girls, you know, they want to spend their 20s all going crazy, and then they get older, and then they start to look for something a little bit more serious. Not all girls are like that. So some decide to sort of spend their 20s in, like, their party years. So they go out, have fun, hit the bar with the girls, and maybe bang the hot guy at the phone cannon party. Uh, spring break, you know, that kind of stuff. And uh, Or, you know, the guy coming over at 2 a.m. to give them dick. And, you know, eventually you get to a point in life where... You, you want to settle things down. And yeah. a lot of girls don't realize this until they hit a certain age. Or they or they realize that at a younger age. It really depends. But, you know, you see stuff like this, you know. Um, what do you think? Yeah, so, yeah like she, she says right here, 30 years old, right? She's way past her prime. And so if she she knows in her mind that, you know, she's she can't be doing what she was doing in her 20s anymore. And clearly she understands that she needs to settle down. But because that she took so long to figure that out, now it's a lot harder to do that, especially at her age. Luckily for her, like, she's at least still looking decent. So, I mean, that's, that's probably the best thing she's got going for her. But, you know, she knows that she's, she's uh, doing, having an uphill battle in this sense. She, she needs to figure this out quick, and she needs to, you know, get what she wants as quickly as possible. Who knows if she can? It all really depends upon, you know, the specific guy, I guess. She 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 knows what to do. She just and she understands how that works. But she just, you know, she just needs to put some action into it, I guess, and and like not get butthurt about it. Now, when you talk to guys at this age, they know most likely you're looking for something serious. Yeah, well, the truth is like a lot of guys they want to go for like the younger girls, you know. Although, I will say, I think a lot of guys are sort of conditioned to go after the older girls as well. But I think, uh, you know, a, guy, a lot of guys, like, in their mind, they prefer to have, like, the hot, you know, 23-year-old compared to the 43-year-old. I think this is kind of, like, biological stuff, you know? Yeah. Like, we, we just want the younger kind of girls, because that's kind of how we're wired, you know? Because, like, for, like, putting babies, you know? Yeah, yeah, for, and... yeah, for like, um, th in the biological perspective, uh, to reproduce, you want... You want the younger ones because they are more prime in being able to reproduce most of the time, unless if there's something wrong with them. But, you know, nine times out of ten, that is the reason because it is just biology. It's in our brains. Uh, we're more focused on that specific aspect. If we see a woman, you know, she might look really nice, but, you know, if she's older, you know, at, at the age of 35 or plus, you know, you, you know that you're not going to really, you know, you might not want that because it might not... Uh, work out for your specific uh, reproductive goals, maybe, or whatever. It might not work out that way, and that's probably what she's dealing with right now because she she knows, guys know, any girl that's older, they're nine times out of ten, they're looking to settle down. And if a guy, if that specific guy is not ready to settle down, then he's just going to go, nope, see you, or going to just not even try to speak to her at all. So, you know, and that's probably what she's also dealing with. So let me continue. Um, uh, you said you were looking for something serious. They don't even ask. The good news about being this age and talking to other guys at this age is they are usually serious about dating and meeting their match too. Real relief. I'm glad I'm out of the 20s dealing with the just want to have fun guys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but even still, it's hard to date. It's always the same story picking between two extremes. One guy is a Christian one. Guy is not. 
One guy is a workaholic, the other one is unmotivated. Oh god. I'm torn between personality or character, looks or morals. And honestly, lately, the dates all want me to travel to them. Coughs. <laughs> Risk global pandemic date or be a cat woman for the rest of my life. Hard call. Let's, uh... well, a lot of girls are sort of incentivized to like kind of divorce their husband. It's like that divorce porn narrative. So they divorce your husband, start all over again, have some fun while you're a little bit older, become that cougar sort of thing. Yeah. A lot of times it doesn't really work out because guys are not really looking for that. Like they'll, they'll, the problem with like a lot of older women, they can easily get sex, but they cannot get commitment. Yeah. So that's, that's, men just want to get sex. Yeah. A lot, you know, but a lot of men can't get that. You know, like the top, like the 80% of guys can't really... You know, I'm not banging all the girls, so... Yeah, exactly. And, you know, she's she's conflicted on, you know, d different styles of people. The people who are unmotivated should need to motivate themselves right now. And we have some videos on that in the channel. And definitely, if you're watching this and you're unmotivated, go watch those. But, yeah, and, you know, talking about the pandemic, you know, the guys are completely right to have her travel, I think. just That's just my... That's, and I know that Andrew agrees. Yeah, I mean, usually, like, you know, I don't, uh, I don't, I never, like, have girls, like, go too long to travel, but, yeah, you know. Um, yeah, so let's continue. So, basically, I, I just have phone calls. I get bored because I feel I am never going to meet someone in person. Damn it, I'm losing my, the last prime year of my life to lock down my husband before my face melts. Uh, let me stop right there. You're past your prime. I'm sorry to say this. This is like, like a you, biological like, thing. This yeah, is not being like, yeah, This is just like yeah, this no, is like human. This is just human nature in this sense. We're not saying that, you know, clearly you look really good. So, I mean, like you have that going on for you. But you can get like 38, a lot of guys like, lining up, you know. Yeah. But. yeah, but once but once you talk to them, once you once you give them the information, then they're, they're, they're not going to stick around. This also adds to the fact that a lot of guys don't have the right game with women. They don't know how to talk to oh, girls. Yeah, that's, and That's also true. But, that's very true. So especially guys will get really like choked up when they talk to like a celebrity or something. So like oh, uh, uh, like they're just gonna freak out. A lot yeah. of guys are very um, they think themselves not as worthy. So maybe we'll probably see some stuff like that in the comments. But yeah, um, so where was I? Uh, when my husband face melts. I swear, COVID year gave me ten extra gray hairs. Really not helping the cause to lock someone down uh, before I get old. Old, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yep, so that's my my rant. If anyone else is frustrated by the dating scene and want more tea, my book, blah, 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 no one cares. Sorry. Um, you have a book that's pretty cool. We're going to have a book eventually. Um, cheers to all the singles. I feel your pain. Cats are not so bad. Cats are great, but Andrew doesn't like that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think uh, cuddling with a guy that you like is better than a cat. Yeah, but yeah honestly. I think a lot of... What girls do is they get like animals to they get like a bunch of animals because they want to love something. I think yeah. that's just a, a woman thing. Yeah, yeah, you know they really want to cuddle up with something. So if a lot of times if a girl's having like dating problems, they they end up getting animals and just using those as like you you'll see yeah, like dogs, also, like cats. girls marrying their animals and stuff, like girls oh, no. marrying anything. They just want to you know they just, want, they just want to love and be loved to someone that's you know that's you know to like a real dominant guy, but. A lot of times they don't get that, you know, so they end up getting cats because they, they really just want to love someone, you know? I feel for them. You know, we all just want to love, you know? Yeah. Yeah, we do. And, you know, she's, she's, she's running out of, she's really running out of time. She knows that. And, um, like, she can, she can grab a crowd. She could probably grab a crowd of guys, but it's just a matter of, uh, keeping any there is, is her, is her problem. And, you know, that's, and it's not really any fault to her except for her actions, you know, previously, at her right now in a vacuum, it's no fault to her. It's it's basically just bi biology, you know, and how humans interact, you know, it's really it. that's really it. The good news about these posts is that you can find the comments to be very reliable because you could find out what people really think about this kind of stuff. And it's not staged, it's like real stuff in real time. And uh, so let's take a look at some what what people think about this kind of stuff. Yeah. So here's a here's a couple blue check marks. Um, dating is a nightmare, and I'm I'm also over it. Well, maybe you might be in the same boat. Maybe yeah, you're not. possibly. Knows? You know, and then some people. Of course, you're gonna have a bunch of people saying, then, "Oh, you're so beautiful." In yeah. The comments. Fire, fire. And no one, you know, just like pre -ordered if you the book. if a girl's constantly getting told she's beautiful, it takes away the value of the statement. Yeah. So. Uh, really, just waiting for my husband to magically find me in my in my couch. Okay. <laughs> 
uh, but still too many men in their late 30s, 40s, not looking for anything serious. This is true. A lot of a lot of guys yeah. are, like, divorced at that age, or they're just not looking for anything, you know, at that point, and they just want to, you know, do whatever. They don't care. If Miss Lolo Jones can be single looking like that and being an Olympic competitor, so can I heart emoji. Thanks for being the strong female inspiration we all need. But she's she's suffering right now, dude. Don't you... You don't you see this? Didn't you see that she is suffering? She literally well, not not in this picture. She's she's talking about this the fact that she's mentally suffering because she can't find someone to be with, and you're kind of just destroying that in a sense. Like yeah, you're trying to build her up, but it, in the sense it's not helping her at all. Like that's not gonna help her. Uh, what she's going through. Uh, would you like to have brunch next month? Okay, so this guy's just totally just trying to pick up right now <laughs> in the comments. Might as well go for it. Uh, I hope he slid in the DMs too. Like, he probably should have done that. Uh, girls, Instagrams like this have like a bunch oh, of her DMs millions. are spotted, so. Yeah, and especially she's a blue <clears throat> check mark. Millions. Yeah, like, forget about it. Really need my husband to bust through my wall like the Kool Aid Man. Okay, I mean, that's I, totally funny. I, we know that there's like a lot of women out there that's just. They're desperate for a relationship. They're desperate to feel love, to actually, like, you know, go through the whole process of dating and everything. They want to find someone. You know, I understand. Yeah. You know, it's not easy out there for any of us. Yeah. Uh, totally it's relate, really 100%. The cis, the struggle is real. You know, there's a lot of women are, are feeling the same way. Yeah, there's a lot, of, a lot of distress going on yeah. out there. And, you know, there's nothing, you know, technically... Unless if they actually do something about it, they put some action to it. There's nothing they can really do. It's just genetics and uh, biology that why she can't find someone. Also, guys are just stupid. And, and, you know, the people that probably would be in line for that just don't know how to speak or talk to anybody. So they just don't talk to anyone. And that's where she will stay. Probably in the void of singularity forever <laughs> yeah most likely you know unless she'd like i mean there's a lot of different options with the power of the internet these days so you can come up with some different solutions but like marriage and kids it might you know i don't know if she has any kids right now i don't really know much about her kind of going off a ball here but yeah found this and just wanted to go for it we don't really know too much about her but other than the fact that she's an olympic but, competitor she but, looks nice but if she doesn't you know have a family or anything it might might be too late she might just be wandering around but we'll see you know, yeah. I guess. Yeah, we'll, <clears throat> see, we'll see how this goes. But um, so some of you may be following this kind of stuff. We we're just looking at an Instagram post. Yeah, so that's <clears throat> pretty much Lolo Jones and her and her situation she's going through. Yeah, so this kind of stuff is happening of people, all yeah, the time. And a lot of people go through this. A lot a lot of women end up going through a specific situation <clears throat> like this, and we want to bring this to light that you know it's not just you know Amy down the street. It's also you know a blue checkmark Instagram you know person Lolo Jones is having the same situation. We all have these, you know, all, all women have these types of situations. Like I said before, it's it's more of like a biology, you know, situation. Biological combined with the mindset yeah. of this kind of situation, so. Yeah, exactly. So, with that all said, you know, see what you guys think about in the comments. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe as well. And if you, can, if you like this content, let us know. We'll make more of it. And in that case, we'll see you in the next video. With you.